guys, my name is Jade and you're currently watching my first ever academic video tutorial. And this tutorial is mainly about statics of rigid bodies. But before that, let me introduce to you to our friend. Ito, ang book na to maging kaibigan natin as our reference when reviewing. Ang book na to ay Engineering Mechanics by Ferdinand L. Singer. So, ito ang ating reference for the entire um, statics lessons. No? And also, um, a little bit reminder, there will be some terminologies that I won't um, further explain dahil masyadong mahaba, but rather, if you want, no, I'll make another video of it. Like, for example, I will use the term a complementary angle, supplementary, um, how when to use or how to use tangent, sine, cosine, and perpendicular and parallel lines, um, something like that. So, if you want, just um, don't hesitate to comment and we'll make another video for it. Okay? So, without further ado, let's go and let's learn. Hello guys, dito sa ating first example, ang tanong dito ay, Compute the X and Y components of each of the forces shown in the figure. So, dito, may, meron tayong present na tatlong forces, namely, P, T, at F. So, F, so for P, meron tayong magnitude na 200 pounds, while sa T, merong 722 pounds, while sa F, ay mayroong 448 pounds of magnitude. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang ating direction ng forces ay pinagsamang slope, no? Ito, pinagsamang slope. at angle. If ever na naka-encounter na kayo ng ganitong problem, um, huwag kayong kabahan dahil madali lang to. So, unahin natin itong pagkuha ng slope. Kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, may missing um, side siya, no, which is yung hypotenuse. So, in order to solve that, no, ang gagawin lang natin ay compute the hypotenuse of the slope using this equation. We just have to take each um, sides ng square nila. No? So, just square them up. And then, ang magiging sagot dito ay ang ilalagay natin sa kanyang hypotenuse side. So, ang sagot dyan ay square root of 13. Square root of 13. Dito naman sa ating um, force sa fourth quadrant, ganun lang din ang gagawin natin, no? Just take its square. 1 square plus 2 square. Square them up. ang magiging sagot dito ay ang ilalagay natin dito sa hypotenuse side. So, gets? Ang sagot dito ay square to 5. Ganun lang kadal ang pagkuha ng side, guys. So, ilagay na natin yung nawawalang side nila no, para hindi tayo malito. Ngayon, tapos na natin makuha ang side ng slope oras na para tingkuhan ng ang x and y components ng bawat forces na nakikita natin dito sa ating example number 1. So, unahin natin ang force P. In order to get the x and y component force P, we have to use this. Unahin muna natin ang unahin muna natin yung x component niya. For P, we just have to write P of X is equals to magnitude, which is 200, multiplied by cosine. Since X, co um, X coordinate tayo, we have to use cosine. And its angle, 60. Ang magiging sagot ay 200 cosine 60, 100. 100 pounds. 
So we don't have to get their resultant kasi ang pinapanap lang naman dito ay component. So nakuha na natin component ng component x ng p which is 100 pounds. Ang kanya namang y component, we just have to write p of y kanyang magnitude multiplied by sine since nasa y coordinate tayo and time 16. Ang magiging sagot lang dyan ay 173.21 naka round up na round up 173.21 ganun na kadali guys so if you have um questions you can just comment down below and let me know para you know masagot natin if ever na may mali ako we can easily correct that so for 40 tayo 40 40 ang kanyang x component will be same lang ang ginawa natin sa P which is yung kanyang magnitude 722 but here's the catch since hindi angle ang binigay at kanyang sides lang maaari natin gamitin yung kanyang given sides so remember so katoa since cosine ang gagamitin natin dito so ka C -A -H, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so we just have to multiply its ka no, sa kanyang magnitude 722 multiplied by ka which is adjacent mer adjacent adjacent side chunk 2 times hypotenuse na 13 square root of 13 ang magiging sagot lang yan ay 722 times 2 over square root of 13 will be 400.50 Take note, nasa second quadrant siya. At ang second quadrant niya, ang x-coordinate ay negative. So, we had, we just have to put negative here. And don't forget the unit. So, for its y component, we just have to multiply its magnitude times. Since sine to, we have to use so. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. For its opposite, we have 3 over hypotenuse, square root of 13. The answer will be 600.74 pounds. Nasa second quadrant siya at ang may coordinate is positive. So, wala na tayong pwedeng um, kailangan baguhin pa sa sign. For uh, F na tayo, no? For F. I'm sorry. So, for F, um, we just have to put F of X is equals to, same lang lang ginawa natin sa T, no? Since hindi naman binigay yung angle. We just have to multiply its magnitude of 448 times ka so ka towa um, cosine is equal to adjacent may adjacent siyang 2 and hypotenuse of square root of 5 the answer will be 448 times 2 over square root of 5 400.70 Nasa 4th quadrant siya at ang kanyang x-coordinate is positive. While yung y-coordinate naman niya ay negative. F of y. 448 times. So, opposite. 1 over square root of 5. The answer will be negative. 200.70. Thirty-five pounds. Ganon ng po adalek. 